We're just hours away from the State of the Union address. President Joe Biden is expected to use the primetime speech to call for his unity agenda for the year ahead. Our Sky News Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen joins us live from the Capitol. Annalise, can we expect some big names in the audience tonight? We can indeed. This is one of the few times we ever see so many important people in the same room, both joint session of Congress. We've got the entire Supreme Court cabinet secretaries as well, but there's always special invitees of the first lady in the box observing from the balcony. And so we're going to see some big names, including Tyre Nichols' entire family, the uh, black man who was uh, killed by police officers in Memphis. We've also seen the uh, addition of Brandon Say, a hero of the Monterey Park shooting, and Roya Ramini, former ambassador for Afghanistan, in the audience. And so hitting on some political notes there, and of course, the Ukrainian ambassador is making a return this year to show the US continued support for the war in Ukraine. That's likely to be a strong emphasis for Joe Biden in his State of the Union address. This is the one moment he gets clear air to put his case about what he wants to achieve in the next year, and it's no small task. He is expected to announce the coming weeks, whether he's going to run again or not, and this is probably his last chance to make his points without having to say whether he's going to run, and if he isn't, then next year he's a bit of a lame duck. So this is going to be an important moment where he's calling for unity, similar to what he was calling for last year, but this year he's dealing with a very tense Congress, very thin margin in the House, and they're facing down the debt ceiling. If that does go to pass, what we are going to see is the US going to default and it's going to be an economic catastrophe. So this is the major challenge at the moment for Joe Biden to call for unity among representatives. Kevin McCarthy gave a pre-address statement where he was talking about some of the challenges he sees coming from the other side. In 2021, Democrats passed the largest debt limit increase in American history. Then they maxed our nation's credit cards again just 13 months later. Now, President Biden wants Congress to raise the debt limit yet again without a single sensible change to how government spends your hard-earned money. None. Does that sound responsible to you? Laura, this is a major security operation in Washington, D.C. This is a huge moment to have the president come into Congress. He doesn't spend much time at the Capitol, despite his many years having been a senator here. But what we do see is police around the perimeter fencing up, because this is a moment on the political calendar. They say it's like the Super Bowl of D.C. <laughs> yeah, the Super Bowl for politics. Uh, the actual Super Bowl is, of course, uh, next week. Yeah. Many people <laughs> might find that a little bit more exciting, but not us. Annalise, thank you. We'll see you soon. And tune in to Sky News exactly. from 1pm today for complete live coverage of President Biden's pivotal State of the Union address. It comes just over a year out from the next US election. Of course, that's later on today right here on Sky News.